Hi, Patrick here. Have Cheeto Will View. It's Tuesday, and if it's Tuesday, that can only mean one thing. It must be Library Day. And yeah, welcome to Library Day. Uh, this week is bag sale week. So once a month, the library will have a bag sale, and you can go in there and fill up a bag for six dollars. Um, so look, always looking forward to that. Um, but I have to admit, I was a little nervous uh, today because I got to the library and you always peek inside the window and see what they have. And I peeked in and all the physical media that they had, all the past, you know, they have shelves of media, uh, movies and, and, and CDs, they were all gone. It was clean, empty. Not even any, not, not even one was left. Um, so I was like, wow, that's, that's, you know, that's crazy. Uh, I had thought that they had donated all that old stock because it's been up there for months and it hasn't moved at all. And so I thought they had just basically gathered it up and donated it to somebody else, like a Salvation Army or something like that, because it was clean. Um, and I was sitting there talking to Elena and she, she peeked over it and saw that too. And so she mentioned that, uh, you know, wow, now, now that everything's cleaned out, do you think they'll raise the prices back up to a dollar? And that's a real possibility because normally that's the only reason why they do a sale. Uh, it was to clear the inventory. And then you have bag sale on top of that. So, you know, they're trying to get rid of the stuff. And most of the time that's what happens, you know. I've seen it so as little as a dime per first uh, movie um, uh, before the pandemic a quarter is excellent and um, but I thought that th I thought so too I thought well yeah they'll probably move it back up to a dollar um, anyway so the doors opened up and uh, yeah uh, they had some stuff there in the new release and I was really happy because I saw a lot of tags on them so I said, oh, awesome. The library has donated some movies for us this week because otherwise we really wouldn't have much of a selection. So uh, I did pretty well. Um, I even got some books. I got books. So actually, I'll show you the books first. Uh, I'm going to put these aside because I really like reading during snow time. When it's snowing outside or whatnot, for some reason, that gets me in a really good mood to read. Uh, I'll pick some tea and I'll go back and I'll read a book. And it is getting a little bit, a little bit chillier. So I did pick up a, I picked up a Clive Cussler book. Uh, I picked up Clive Cussler uh, from the Oregon Files. This is Marauder. Now, of course, these these uh, uh, books are written by um, collaborators, uh, the or an idea from the original author. As you know, Clive Cussler passed away uh, a couple of years ago, but his series are still being printed because they have he has he handpicked other writers to write them. Uh, this is actually Boyd Morrison who wrote this story, uh, based off an either an idea or an outline. Uh, after a while, they become original ideas by the authors here, uh, but right now this is probably based on an idea that Clive Cussler had. So I picked it up. Uh, I enjoy the Oregon Files. It's it's a pretty it's a pretty fantastic series. A lot of fun, a lot of action, uh, a lot of daring do. You know, good guys versus bad guys. This is one of the this is one of Clive Custer's best series. Uh, all right, I picked up a couple of jo uh, John S uh, Sanford's uh, uh, novels as well. Uh, I picked a, a Virgil Flowers novel called Bloody Genius. Virgil Flowers is one of his characters. It's the same universe as Lucas Davenport, um, but it's a standalone. Uh, it's a standalone. Uh, Josh San Sanford is a really fun writer. I do believe this is a, a, a pen name. I don't think this is his real name, but um, but he writes a really crackling book, a good book, and uh, they're very fast reads, and I really enjoy them quite a bit. And so, might not pick a few up on bag sale day. So I picked up the Virgin Flowers one, and then I picked up a Lucas Davenport one called Neon Prey. This is from the Prey series. Every title that he comes up with the, uh, the Lucas Davenport novel has Prey in it. And then I went back to an author I have not read for a few years. 
Uh, I've enjoyed them. Uh, I know that they came out with a series, uh, and I start. I so I decided to pick up a TV series that have been on Amazon Prime for a while. Um, but I decided to go back and get back into the book to see how he's doing. And I picked up a Harry Bosch book called The Black Box. I've read my I've read some of the series, some of the books in this series. I really enjoyed them. So, you know, it was sitting right there. So I went ahead. Why not? Don't know how it is. So I picked up those four novels, uh, as well as the movies. But I know you guys are here for the movies, so let's get to that, shall we? Uh, I will do the DVDs first, and then I will do the Blu-rays. All right. So, uh, the first movie I picked up is a movie that I, some of you probably be surprised I have not watched it. Uh, I've obviously I've heard about it and know all I know about it, but I've just never seen it, never owned it, and that is American History X. Yep, a timely movie, even that, and the more so now than it was probably when it came out. But yeah, this is this is a movie that's worth uh, looking at. So this stars Edward Norton and Edward Furlong. This is the, probably the last movie Edward Furlong did before he went off his off his off the rails. But of course, Ed Norton is still doing great. He's doing great work. He's doing great movies. So American History X. Uh, next up, I got. Uh, remember, I got these all for a quarter. By the way. They did not raise their prices. Everything I got here is for a quarter. So uh, I was really happy to see none other than Morbius. Marvel Comics MCU Morbius. One of my favorite Marvel characters. He's a second, he's, I guess he would call a second tier or maybe even a third tier hero. But his, his story is fascinating. He's one of my favorite characters in, in, the, in, in Marvel Comics. So I was pretty happy when I heard that he got, he's going to get a movie. Um, I've, heard mixed, I've heard mixed reviews about this. But I'm tending to lean toward that thumbs up because, obviously, because uh, origin stories are the hardest to tell. So, uh, this stars Jared Leto, uh, who did not do so well in his first attempt to enter a uh, superhero, um, in the world of superheroes. He played the Joker on the Suicide Squad and did not do that well. But I'm, I'm hoping that he did much better here. Okay, uh, next up is uh, the remake of Death on the Nile. Now, uh, this is by Kenneth Brognig. I watched uh, uh, Kenneth Brognig's, uh, he, he already did the, uh, the, or, uh, uh, the Orient Express, which was a lot of fun. The Orient Express was a lot of fun. Even though it's an old story and you, know that you already know how it's going to end, it still was fun getting there. And this is the same thing with the Death on the Nile. Uh, I've seen it. I saw it when it came out before. All star cast. You know how it's going to end, but it's just it's the you know how it's going to end, but it's, it's how it gets there. So this has an all star cast in it too. Besides Kenneth Brognig, as you can see, the lovely Gal Gadot is on the front cover too. Uh, let's see who else? I don't know who else is on here. There's a there's a lot of people on there, but I I just know that uh, Kenneth Brognig plays Hercules Poirot. Who's solving the mystery? So uh, I heard it was pretty fun. So there you go. All right, uh, I got a couple of series too. TV series came through uh, on DVD. I got the first and second season of News Radio, and of course, this starred the late great Phil Hartman. Uh, who was murdered by his wife. Uh, unfortunately, several years ago, uh, he's still sorely missed. He, he shot the fame on uh, Saturday Night Live, and then he did. Uh, he was doing this series when he was killed. And I got the first season of the new Walker Texas Ranger reboot. They have on the CW. It's called Walker. Uh, the stars. Uh, um, uh, Jared Palicki from Supernatural fame, and this is a reimagining of uh, Walker, and it's no, it's not Chuck Norris per se. I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't have martial arts skills. It's just still the same type of story. Still a ranger, and they still do flashback 
back to his his uh, you know his uh, ancestors. Um, so they, that's one thing they kept from the original series for Walker. Um, but I've never seen an episode of this yet, so I don't know how it is. Uh, I know that it got renewed, and um, season two is supposed to be coming out this year. So I know that it was well received. So um, looking forward to watching it. And then the last DVD I have is something I'm very excited about, as you should probably, uh, uh, you'll probably, uh, you can probably tell. Um, so, I got, we need to do something. And why is this so exciting? That's right, kids. It's the IFC Midnight movie. That's right. So uh, I've heard about this. I've heard great things about it. I heard it's a lot of. It's very interesting. Uh, it, it have you on the edge of your seat. It says, "I believe it," because uh, I see movies are all that and a cup of coffee. So this is the first one I've gotten from the library in a long time, long time since I've gotten the ISC uh, movie or ISC Midnight movie. So I'm hoping that that this means that uh, obviously, and they did. It's a library copy. So they are still buying ISC Midnight and ISC films, so that's good. Now, if they could just release them to us a little bit sooner, that would be awesome. Um, I know that Vesper is coming out at, toward the end of the month, and I really, really want to see Vesper really bad. So hopefully, you know, this will mark the start of something good. So, uh, yep. All right, so now we got the blu rays and we'll just get into it. Uh, first thing I got, this is a new release, and this is uh, from the makers of uh, uh, Minions. Uh, this is the bad guys. I know nothing about it. I just know, I mean, I've heard about the movie. I know nothing about the movie. I just know it's supposed to be pretty funny. Uh, I know it's from the makers of uh, uh, Minions and uh, Despicable Me. So, yeah, I picked it up. Plus, I love animation, so there you go. Uh, next up, uh, The Lost City, with Sandra Bullock and Channing Tatum. I heard this is very cute, a lot of fun. Um, this also uh, stars Daniel Radcliffe uh, and Brad Pitt, so that'll be a lot of fun too. For the first, it's been a long time since I've seen Sandra Bullock lead a movie. So that was that's good to see. She's always good. She's always fun to watch. Uh, next up, and of course, this is probably the for some this is probably the highlight of the of the hall. Personally, I'm gonna go with uh, we have to do something because any chance I can get an IFC movie is is it's very exciting for me. But this is probably a close second. Um, I got the Doctor Strange and uh, Multitude Multiverse of Madness. So. This just did not come out that not long ago, and I was able to get this for a quarter. Can I argue with that? Doc, brand new Doctor Strange for a quarter? Yes, sir. Um, I've heard nothing but great things about this movie, so I'm excited to see it. And uh, this is, you know, in the MCU. So, and that's the Scarlet Witch is on here, and um, and of course Benedict Wong as uh, uh, right here. So. Um, uh, and of course, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch and the Scarlet Witch. So, yep, I'm pretty happy to get that. Uh, next, I actually reached this. I know some of you will be always surprised I'll probably pick this up. Uh, I'm not a big uh, Tarantino fan. I'm not at all. I'm not. But, uh, and I had this movie at one time, but I actually gave it to Catfish. But I saw it on Blu ray and I said, well, for a quarter, let me go back and revisit it. Um, because we're, we've been talking, people have been talking westerns lately, and I said, yeah, well, if I'm going to do westerns, I might as well try to get as many westerns as I can, so I did pick this up again, and that is, uh, Django Unchained, with Jamie Lee Fox, Leonardo DiCaprio, and, uh, Christopher Waltz. Christopher Waltz is awesome. He, he could play a great bad guy, he could play a great bad guy, he could also play a really good, good guy, too. So, uh, 
Okay, uh, next I got Toy Story. Uh, that Toy Story that Time Forgot. Um, I have no idea uh, about this. I'm not sure if this is a... Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know if this is a movie. I'm not sure if this is a TV special or what. I seem to think this is probably going to be a TV special like a Peanuts. Because I don't remember this being released at the theaters at all. So I'm thinking this is probably made for TV or for Disney+. Plus. Either way, I'm glad to have it. Uh, if it's 22 minutes, 25 minutes, that's better. That's cool as well. But, uh, yeah, I picked this up uh, uh, for a quarter. Um, let me know how if you've ever seen this movie. Let me down down in the comments uh, what you thought about it. Uh, okay, next up, this just came out as well. And that is Sonic 2 that just came out. Sonic 2. I just got the first one not that long ago. I just got the first one. And then uh, this one just came out. So uh, I was able to get this too. Uh, this, star, this stars Jim Carrey and James Marston who play Cyclops in the X-Men series. All right. Uh, all right. Um, I know. You guys can all crack up, but yep, this is how I roll. So I picked up Trolls World Tour. <laughs> I don't know anything about this. I only know it's cute. It's, uh, it was Blu-ray for a quarter. I'm entertained. I, I, I entertain easily. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I do believe our friend Jennifer Tochi has seen this movie. Uh, I know she saw Scene 2. I'm sure she's seen this. So I'm sure she will tell me that I did a good thing in getting this. I'm sure she will give this a thumbs up. And that's really all that matters, right? As long as the Tochi likes it, it's all good. Alright. Uh, okay. Um, so I picked up the second season of Breaking Bad on Blu-ray for a quarter. Uh, yeah, I picked it up. I'm, a, I'm an Aaron Paul guy. I like Aaron Paul. I know I, I don't really like this series too much, to be quite honest with you. I don't really like series that glorify crime. I, I just don't. Uh, but I did pick this up for a quarter, and if I could get all four seasons for it for a dollar, I'd do that so I could watch it. Uh, so, you know, don't hate on me too much. But, uh, yeah, I picked it up for a quarter, so why not? Okay, keep rolling on here. Uh, one of the other new library uh, release, uh, and that was Downton Abbey, uh, A New Era. Uh, yes, I do have a lot of the Downton Abbeys. Uh, our good friends Ricky and Pablo told me they recommended this to me. Uh, they're huge uh, Downton Abbey fans. Um, old AF reviewers, huge fans, told me that this, uh, this, this one made them cry. Uh, and so I said, you know what, anything that would make Ricky and Pablo cry, I got to check out. And so, uh, so I picked this up and, uh, Ricky, I'm looking forward to this, my brother. Thanks for giving me the heads up on it. Um, appreciate it. I'll let you know how we do with it. And, uh, yeah. All right. Dick Jones. All right, uh, and we'll keep rolling on here. Uh, so I did pick this up. I, I, I picked up, I got. I found this here. This was not a library release. This was a private donation. And this is the second movie of the uh, the Fantastic Beast trilogy. And this is uh, Fantastic Beast: The Secrets of Dumbledore. So, uh, yeah. I do believe Johnny Depp is in this, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong about that, but I do think he was in this one right here. It, or he was, and he got erased. Oh, that's probably it. I think he was in this movie, and then he got erased. Or canceled. Um, now Warner Brothers is probably feeling mighty stupid about that after he won his case. Uh, so, yeah. I haven't seen this. I haven't seen any of the Fantastic Beasts, so I don't know how they are. So if you've seen either one of this, uh, you know, Fantastic Beasts and How to Find Them, or The Secrets of Dumbledore, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about it. All right, and the last thing I got is an upgrade. I had this movie already on DVD. I just got this for an upgrade. 
Uh, it is a funny movie. I did enjoy it when I watched it. And uh, when I, so when I saw it here, sitting here on Blu-ray, I did pick it up because it's cute. And that is Cameron Diaz and Bad Teacher. So, yep, I had a lot of fun with this when I watched it. This has Justin Timberlake in it. He's not afraid of making fun of himself. Um, so it makes for a good time. Uh, Cameron Diaz took a five-year break from acting, and now she is back. She's actually making a couple of movies even as we speak. And they should be out sometime early next year, middle of next year. It was good to see her back. Um, she's really fun to watch. Uh, who doesn't like Cameron Diaz, right? All right, so, wow. Ooh, it's going to be a long video. Uh, that's it. I had a good haul this week. That's why. Uh, so, hopefully you enjoyed everything I showed you. Let me know down below what movies would you, did, do you think I did the best with. Uh, what movie would you watch first? Uh, which movie would you have left on the shelf? Uh, uh, though that might be sort of hard leaving it on the shelf at only 25 cents I don't know very, very many people that would leave it on the shelf though I did I did leave the first season of Breaking Bad on the shelf because I already have it uh, alright that's it for me uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next week uh, for library haul for library day uh, you know, regular haul video won't be nearly as big as this it won't be only bag sales get this big but uh but yeah, I had a lot of fun, and uh, we'll talk at you soon. Peace.